ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's, welcome to tonight's game. Varsity lacrosse game between New Bell the Broncos and Vista Del Lago. Welcome to Bella Vista High School, Fair Oaks, California. Following last week's win over Del Oro, we knew that the schedule would get tougher for Bella Vista. And that started on Friday with a trip to Rockland where the Broncos found themselves down by three early. Battled back to tie the score early in the second quarter. But unfortunately for the Broncos, they found themselves down three again. Were never able to get closer than a two goal deficit for the rest of the game falling to Rockland 12 to 8. Tonight it's even more difficult as one of the most elite teams in the area comes calling the Eagles of Vista Del Lago, a team that comes into tonight at 5 and 2, having lost only to Marin Academy and also last night to Monte Vista 13 to 11 in a game played down in Danville. Well, one of those five wins was by forfeit. The Eagles have scored at least 12, at least 11, I should say, in each of the other uh, four wins. And, pending, uh, and, and of those wins, the most recent prior to last night was a 16-15 win at Whitney, a team that hung 20 points on Bella Vista here just three weeks ago. Good evening, everyone. George Tharlson, David Houseworth with you as we get ready for the varsity contest between the Broncos and the Vista Del Lago uh, Eagles 5-2, 13 to 11 loss at Monte Vista. We were talking about it during the JV game. Long drive back, but you know when you're when you're a teenager, is it really does it really take its toll on you like it would say me if I had to do that? Yeah, we'll, we'll find out here. We uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna do the national anthem here in just a second, and then uh, then we'll get on the field and we'll find out if that late night did anything to him or not. And uh, kind of a fun night tonight for Bella Vista. The last home game before spring break. The band is here. We didn't have the band at all last year, but uh, but this year the band is going to be here and they should be the ones that uh, perform the national anthem for us this evening as uh, we get set to watch the Broncos take on the Eagles of uh, uh, Vista Del Lago. Some of the names to listen for here for the uh, for the Eagles, Zachary Bailiff is one to uh, uh, to keep in mind. He, he's uh, 18 goals. He is the team leader. We are going to pause right now as everyone is standing, and we will have the national anthem. And it should be courtesy of the Bella Vista Band. Looks like they're getting ready to warm this up. <laughs> the Bella Vista marching band here at the lacrosse game tonight and they perform the national anthem here uh, as we get set to watch the Broncos take on the Eagles of Vista Del Lago we were talking about uh, uh, names to keep an eye on Zachary Bailiff at 18 goals on the year he's their leader Max Voda at 14 is the second leading scorer and both of those found the back of the net a few times 
last night. Bailiff three goals in the loss to Monte Vista and Max Voda two goals. Uh, so big test for Bella Vista. Again, impressive win uh, over Del Oro a week ago tonight. Uh, the best game, even though it was a loss, the best game of the year, uh, performance-wise, against Rockland on Friday. They've got some momentum going, uh, and and so, what better, what better opportunity than to maybe pull off a big upset tonight? Opportunity is something they face here, or something they have. <coughs> they have an opportunity to go up against a really good team. We can use a couple metrics here to, to take a look at this matchup tonight. Uh, using Mac, Max Preps as the uh, as the stats provider, as you mentioned before, um, BV ranks number 91 in the state of California. A um, lot of lot of teams in the state, and um, Vista Del Lago ranks number six. So, if we were watching college football, for any college football fans, and if you watched last year, this would be Florida State against Arkansas State. Now, uh, I don't know that that's what we'll see tonight. BV did play their best game of the season last Friday night uh, against Rockland, who's very good, and we were talking at the. At the JV game, a lot of that, uh, a lot of that varsity game at Rockland last last week was a um, was a two-goal game, you know, and, and Rockland's rated number 41 in the state, so significantly um, uh, uh, better than, than BV. So, um, going to be a tough matchup here for for Bella Vista. Um, Vista Del Lago is uh, just more athletic. They're bigger. They're stronger. They're faster. They're quicker. They've got better overall stick skills. They're more aggressive. Um, so, uh, BV is going to see that, and uh, time for BV to play like they did last Friday. And we are underway with the varsity game. And Vista Del Lago takes the early possession. Look at the size of their Fogo guy, their face-off guy. Gonna work the ball to the left now. Back behind the net, there's, uh, that's Voda right there that just took possession. And they'll just spin it around. Uh, they've done one rotation already. Looked like they were going to do the same, but uh, going back and forth a little bit. Bella Vista with some good defense. Loose ball. And that's it out of bounds, and that will stay with uh, Vista. So we'll want to watch Bailiff. on restarts. I think I suspect, oh, check it out. I suspect uh, uh, Vista Del Lago will be, uh, have really good quick strike ability. Uh, so on restarts, Bevy's going to need to be ready, um, any kind of restart. Pass was deflected by Bella Vista, so Vista keeps possession. Decrease. Right out in front, there's a save. River Kinley, by the way, in goal for Bella Vista. All white. And it looks like he secures the uh, uh, possession there for the Broncos. So we'll want to watch Vista's ride here and see how aggressive they are on it. Mason Higgins, the sophomore, gets the call in goal tonight. Anthony Leonardi, the... Uh, the senior played in the game last night, so uh, pretty clear <laughs> what they're doing there is they're gonna giving him a little bit of a rest. Leonardi's played most of the season in goal for Vista Del Lago. Caden Hoop scored his first two goals of the game of the season last uh, Friday against Rockland. This is Bunny, scored number 50 against the Thunder on Friday. Getting beat up. Taken away. I suspect the BB guys feel a little beat up uh, versus Rockland because uh, Rockland played pretty pretty tough on them, and uh, uh, so they may they may feel beat up. Gotta like that. And, and the BB may the find that side. again this week. See that cross crease pass on the on the clear? We don't Bunny see BB doing with that. With the de defense on the move, this is Zachary Castle with the long stick. Boda Castle's going to back up now. And they'll set the offense. Isaac Lee, six goals on the year. It's a little hippity hop move there from Owen Pettis. The shot goes wide. It'll stay with Vista Del Lago. He's one of their leading scorers too, I believe, right? 14 goals tied for second with Max Voda. Mm -hmm. So that shot there was left-handed. It might have been influenced by a, by, a, by a check. That's Alex Grant. There he goes left and again. And he finds, there's a swinging shot. That one goes wide as well. And it'll stay once again with Vista Del Lago. That shooter's headed to Bellarmine next year. Talking with the coaches, the uh, Vista coaches it before the game. Scholarship at Bellarmine. 
Uh oh. Ooh. Chris is still in possession. BB ball now. Now looks like Hayes Reed took Turn that over. one away. But then it's uh, taken back for a, a shot that uh, goes wide, and Bella Vista should have possession here. So all season we've been talking about BB clears needed to be better. They were pretty good Friday night. So we'll want to take a look and see how they can do it here. This is their second opportunity. Let's see what they come up with. Subbing on some guys. Maybe off sides, maybe? Don't know what that call was. This is, uh, this is Voda. Voda headed to Colorado College next year. All right. Scholarship. Not surprised to hear that news. Of course, we know Mateo Polanco is going to Dominican next year. And they're going to need some production. Uh, I don't know if you look, but Dominicans have been giving up 20 goals a game pretty often this year. Uh-oh. Boom. And there's a goal to get it started. Owen Pettis finds the back of the net. And the Eagles uh, draw first blood in this one. With 8-11 to go in the opening quarter, it is 1-0 Vista Del Lago. A little too easy. He was pretty darn open right there, very, very close. And, uh, and, and, and you know, that shot wasn't, uh, wasn't harassed either. So nobody was close enough to even put a stick on him. Face off. Much like we saw in the JV game, this is Del Lago very successful on the uh, on the faceoffs. Pettis coming back on, Isaac Lee coming back on, and Pettis is out front. Just scored the goal a few seconds ago. Here's Voda. Finds a cutting player there, and the shot goes wide. See how quickly that came back into play. We were able to save it behind the net, ball way out. That's an attackman being in the right place, anticipating where the shot will go if, if it misses. Lucas Romanic, number 27. Here's Voda. This is Pettis now at the X position. Right out in front looking for Voda. Voda catches it, looking for the shot. Now he takes another attempt, and he scores. See how slick that shot was? That was very slick. Left-handed. I don't know if he's left-handed or not. We'll find out. We'll see if he goes right later. Uh, but that was, you know, high-velocity shot. So 7.13 to go in the uh, opening quarter. And it's already 2-0 in favor of Vista Del Lago. Bella Vista needs to win some of these face-offs, and they need to get their offense going. Both uh, Vista Del Lago, there you go. Both Vista Del Lago goals within five yards. Shot, shot taken about five yards. The Broncos had it momentarily, but uh, that didn't last long. Nice long pass. stick, and he's going to continue to attack him. as they tried to get it right back to Boom. him. Ethan Jones, and there's another shot and another score. Bella Vista defender on the ground. And that is Ethan Jones who gets the goal. It's quickly 3-0. Remember we mentioned uh, Vista Del Lago, bigger, stronger, faster, quicker. And so that's, the, you know, the give and go that just uh, that just went on right there. Long stick dished off to a shorty, put it back onto the long stick. Long stick sh shoots a very crisp shot and puts a Bella Vista guy on the ground. Bigger, stronger, faster, quicker. So just under seven minutes to go in the opening quarter and Bella Vista's dug themselves a hole once again. Whistle, and this is going to go Bella Vista's way. All right, so you're going to want to value this possession, right? Three, 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 zero, down three. That's not much. Give Cody Simpson a lot of credit. He took the face off there, and he just continued to fight until the whistle to fight until the whistle blew. Joe Thomas still has it. Thomas, he'll spin it behind the net. Got Polanco to the left. Here's Bunny. Bunny with an angle. Now Polanco with his first touch. BB Attack have been using an inside roll a fair amount this year, and they're going to want to look. When they make that inside roll, they might get inside that first guy, but they're going to want to look for that cross-crease slide coming right at them. Once again, aggressiveness on the part of Vista Del Lago. And it pays off for them. 
Camden King. Good check. That's Brandon Tebow. Tebow knew he was going to line up with uh, with Bailiff tonight. Talking to him before the game started, he knew he, the, the job he was going to face. There's Voda. Now Pettis will bring it to the outside. And Alex Grant. Grant is a junior, eight goals on the year. See how quickly the ball moves, quickly, crisply. Good, leading solid with defense. the shoulder. Also, good, solid defense. It's Lincoln Zachney that was kind of leading with the shoulder as well. Here's Voda. Voda looking to get free. He's looking for oh. that shot, hmm. and he scores again. Slick, right? That feed was on a was on a was a dart. Then that shot did that turn right there and zipped it into the goal. That's slick. Credit that goal to Owen Pettis. 5:20 to go. Good defense by Cody Simpson though to turn back that dodger. It was tough. I think he was giving up some weight, giving up some size. Don't turn it back. Ellsworth back in the face-off circle here. And once again, the Eagles emerge with the ball. Ethan Jones with the long stick has found the back of the net. One of the four goals for Vista. Okay, Bella Vista clear. They're going to have to execute this. <clears throat> One of the keys for the game, as always has been for Bella Vista, is execute the clears. You've got the ball. You haven't had the ball much. Let's make sure we get it down on the offensive end and set up a credible offense. Wheels, 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 wheels. Max nice Morris. Kyler Simpson. And Caden Hoop. They're working the right side. Simpson. Looking to make a move. And once again, a ground ball picked up by Vista Del Lago. Good check. Broncos trying Play to run some interference Play there. Play the bottom hand. And they do. That's Secure it. That's the it. win. There's Going backwards. Tebow. Going backwards is fine. He's got five. He's got five. This He's got five. Casey. He's got five. Gets a screen, and he needed that. Here's Hoop, leading scorer on JV last year. Polanco. So we look for the uh, go over top. Here's the double, drives Polanco way makes out. a move to the middle. He's thinking, he's thinking. Extended possession here for Bella Vista. Polanco works off a screen from Hoop. Look at the size difference here. He'll take it to the X. Oop. Got Bunny. Yeah, I was on a hit. So BB's going to want to take advantage of this man up. Probably cross check on the head, one minute non-releasable. BB's going to want to take advantage of this. They got a couple of uh, extra man goals early in the Rockland game last week, and the shots were close. They were taken from close to the goal. So that's something they're going to try and do here. Remember, we've seen a lot of BB extra man goals taken from 15 yards. You want to try and do better than that. Let's see if they can get that executed here. Joe Thomas is now on for Bella Vista. So BB's got a man on the crease here on man up. They don't often do that. The stick is down at his hip. It really ought to be up at his shoulder. Working the outside right now. This is Thomas. Crease man's not very active. Be helpful if he were. Polanco. And Ellsworth once again. They tried to get it over to Thomas. Loose ball. And that's going to roll out of bounds. It's going to stay with Bella Vista. Joe Thomas sitting on 49 career goals. Ellsworth winds up. That was from close to 15 also. We were just saying better to take man up shots from closer than 15. I suspect this goalie's pretty good. If he's, if he's, if he's the Vista Del Lago goalie, even the, even the second one, I bet he's pretty good. Mason Higgins, the sophomore, is getting the start in goal tonight for Vista Del Lago. So you're facing a good goalie means the quality of your shots has to go up. And so shot selection is going to be really important for BB tonight. They're not going to get so many. So they need to be well selected, and well placed. Isaac Lee. Travis Triplett coming on for his first action tonight. 35 goals for the JV squad last year. 
Does not look like he has dented the scorebook yet this year. Had two goals in the JV game against Bella Vista last year. So again, what we want to do is not watch, not watch just the ball carry, but let's watch all the other blue shirts and see how they move, especially off the ball. Lee from the angle. Voda is going to try and screen out, but Bella Vista should, look well, how, they got almost got that. Look how tough eight is hustling. That's, that's well, eight on eight, if you will, but uh, Broncos this is going to go to Vista. One blue shirt against three, and the Blues ended up with it. Nice catch out of the air. Look at the size difference Pettis here. once again. Look at the size difference. He sees it. He sees it. He's going to pull it out, and they're going to dodge on Thomas. Thomas is quick. He's tough. But we got a big di size difference here. 24 on 24. Here's Voda. Lefty. Lefty. Voda closed off. Took it away from him. Jars the ball loose. That. that guy's college bound, and they took it from him. And this is Joe Thomas on the move. Got a fast break. One more. Thomas. Boom. Yes, sir. There's a shot. Yeah. Score, Matthew Bunny. Broncos don't often set up the fast break, and in that case, they did. They had uh, Polanco up high, they had Bunny down low, and they had one other attackman over there on goal line, even on the far side. You set up that L stack, fourth guy, uh, the ball carrier brings it down. You got to create four on three, and you got the offense, um, offense is spread out, and the defense cannot cover them all, and that's exactly what can happen on an executed fast break. 51st goal of Matthew Bunny's career. He has played varsity all three of his high school years. As a junior, he'll have one more year. He'll be one of those four-year varsity lacrosse players and probably one of the top guys next year. I mean, he's one of the top guys this year. Here's Ellsworth as Bella Vista wins that faceoff. So you want to value this possession. If you put this one in, it's 4-2. Got to love that. There's no reason they can't create a quality shot here. Bunny once again looking to get free. Ball comes loose. Bunny takes a shove. Loose, loose ball push. And that is going to stay with Bella Vista. See, uh, Vista's pretty good at adjustments, and I bet they know already that Bunny uh, wants to dodge like that, and that dodge took a little bit of extra time, which allowed the second uh, Vista defenseman to get in there and strip the ball. Bunny closed off. Kyler Simpson. Simpson giving up height to the defender. He's faster than 33 is, though. Behind the net, Polanco. Here comes the second slide. Polanco. Angle shot. Oh, pipe. And... The goalkeeper's best friend once again. Polanco to bring it in. Polanco's out front. Oh, he lost the ball. Oh, that's in the back. He's on yep. the ground. It will stay with Bella Vista. So BB's going to need him to keep that up, but he's going to get beat up doing it. Approaching the final 10 seconds of the quarter. Simpson. Simpson to the outside. It went in. He scores! Oh, Kyler Simpson. And just like that, David, you said, chance to cut it to 4-2. To they just did. You've got a little lucky on it, and, we'll, and you'll take that every day. That kind of went off the goalie and went into the goal, but it's because the ball was down here and because BV was working the ball. So valued the possession, toughed it out, got beat up a little bit, but kept the ball and got themselves in position to get a goal and now we are 4-2 not out of reach at all fourth goal of the year for Kyler Simpson scoring against Vista Del Lago that's a thing and it is a two goal game 9.3 seconds to go nine seconds they're gonna want to go for it there's a long pass down the skies over everyone and out of bounds with six tenths of a second to go. That pass was headed for the river. And would have had to clear the highway and uh, everything else to get there. And they're going the other way. And we have come to the end of the first quarter here at Bella Vista High School. Rather entertaining first quarter here as the Broncos find themselves trailing by just two goals. Uh, you know, it was uh, uh, Vista Del Lago dominating possession again like we kind of saw in the JV game but still the Broncos got a couple of sustained possessions and they were able to find the net uh, yeah and, uh, 
uh, they, they earned they earned that first goal for sure. And you know, you could that second goal was you could call it lucky, but they earned it by having possession down there and making things happen. So I think uh, BB just keeps up the intensity. They we, we've now seen that uh, Vista Del Lago bigger, stronger, faster, quicker. They are very good stick skills. We've seen that as they passed you know into the crease and took it some very very zippy shots. So, you know, keys for the, the game this week or this uh, tonight for BV is just no mistakes. They can't afford any mistakes against the number six team in, in the state. So, um, going to have to think, going to have to be on their game, going to have to play just as aggressive as they've been all season to be able to hang on. This is a you know, in the business world, being assertive yeah. and taking the initiative are two very important things to your professional success. That's exactly what Kyler Simpson did on that last goal. He took the initiative, he saw the opportunity, he took the shot, and okay, so he got a lucky bounce. If he doesn't do all that other stuff, yes. that doesn't go in. That's right. And you know, like in the business world too, and uh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna take your licks when you get assertive, right? People are gonna mm -hmm. come for you, and they're gonna, and that's what's gonna happen here tonight too. But you take them, you continue to be assertive, and you're successful with it. All right, let's get the second quarter underway. Bella Vista finds themselves now down just two after uh, Vista scored the first four goals of this game. So the teams will switch sides and uh, we'll battle it out here. Ellsworth to take the face off for Bella Vista. Now we'll get a whistle. Illegal procedure, going, blue, going white. And that'll be Bella Vista to take possession here. Could we make it four to three? So just incredibly important for uh, Bella Vista to value their offensive possessions. That you might think they will get fewer in a game like this, similar to what happened at Whitney, and they stepped out. So you again, no mistakes. Forced errors. No mistakes. Um, you got to know where you are. Here's Higgins, the goalie, the sophomore goalie, getting the start tonight. Found the right guy who's wide open. Look how quickly he got rid of that. Trouble. On the move. Trouble. Backwards, back pass. Boom. Right out in front. Another Bella Vista goal, uh, and we have a penalty. I don't know about the penalty, but you see the behind-the-back pass? <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, Jake Farfan who gets the goal. So that behind-the-back headed to Bellarmine, like we said. Yeah, that was Bailiff, right? Yeah. And that comes at 11.27 here in the... Second quarter. Yeah, dead ball foul, white six, illegal body check, one minute. And that is Nicholas Meeks that will serve the penalty after being called for the check. We'll watch that on the films and see how see how late that was. I'm not so sure, but the boy, the films can really help. Sometimes you think you saw one thing live, watch it on films, and you realize it was something different. Right out in front, another nice swinging save. shot. River Kinley. Nice save by River Kinley. So, that the save. Got it. That's some illegal, illegal play by, uh, were they interfering with the goalie, maybe? Free clear. Yeah. The free clear for yep. Bella Vista. All right. So back to back to value in the possession. Last one turned away, uh, turned uh, turned it over because it's just stepped out of bounds. He's got two guys. You want to get away from that? Hillsworth lost okay. the ball. And we lost it. Still loose. Thomas. Here's Joe Thomas. He's got help. He's got help right there. Find the cutting man. Swinging yes, shot. Score. <laughs> Jonah Alonzo finds the back of the net for the third time this season. Good zippy shot there, too. So this is kind of how BB played Rockland the other night. Rockland, who's very, very good. Vista Del Lago here, who's very, very good. And, and BB's just, just clawing their way, staying in the game. Um, and, you know, one of the keys that I've got written down, we didn't get them all, all covered, but make the right decisions. And that pass right there was the right decision. That's Alonzo's third goal of the season. Riley Triplett is the one that wins the face off there. Calling a settle. Voda. Just taking his time. Here's Bailiff. Right 
from the side, r moving nice. right in on goal. And that one's too oh, high. Oh, that should have made it. Well, credit the Bella Vista defense. Yeah, he, he cut through all of them, got himself open a, a couple yards in front. I think he was a little too relaxed, just figuring it was going to happen. Kinley looking for help. Right decision. Ah. Eight, 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 eight. Has nobody on him. Eight right here and has nobody on him. We want the ball here with eight instead of in a blue stick. Still loose. Again, making the right decisions. Didn't make the decision. I didn't hear eight screaming for the ball either. That Pick sure would have helped. Broncos. Get a timeout called? Or did we, this is going to uh, go the other way here. I'm not sure why. Bailiff. Nice cutter. Left hand. Right inside. Save. Nice save by River Kinley. And River Kinley comes up big once again for Bella Vista. There you go. Right. He, he told the offense guy to get away. He can go right up. He can go right up the middle. Look how fast he's going. That's what we want. We want. We want that. Kinley looking for the pass. And he's got to hurry back downfield. Make a better pass. Broncos will scoop get that out. one up. Didn't need to force that. Alonzo. Didn't need to feed that control in. Control it. Tyler Simpson jars the ball loose for Bella Vista. Found his guy because he knew he would be there. That's part of the plan. The long have, stick. To have a long stick up that at that spot. Don't slide up field like right always. out in front. Shot score. Goal of Vista, number six, Jake Farfan. And that's Farfan's second goal of the game. That defenseman there has a quandary. The ball is coming in, and that's going to be a shot. But he's got a guy, a, a bad guy standing right next to him. He can be a shot, too. That defenseman has to play them both. But he can't just leave his man that's standing by the goal and slide upfield like that. Vista controls again. Actually, Bella Vista comes up with that one. Here's Ellsworth. Good wheels. Force wide. And send it behind. Bunny. Bunny gets free. He'll try to get in front. Now the Broncos will send it back out. Ellsworth. Good slide. He'll take a shot. That one goes wide. Broncos still in possession. All kinds of action. Bigger, and stronger, faster. Bella Vista, or Vista Del Paco. Baloo. On the move. Fast Eagles. Break. Across, he's got help across. Oh. And another goal. Talk about quickness. You see that? Goal, Vista. That's that's swim dodge. That's Voda. Couple steps up, then the fake, then the shot. Great stick skills. His dad played lacrosse at Chico. I played with him and I believe his uncle too on the men's league. Uh, I, I, I believe it's his uncle. There were two voters. They played on the men's league here in Sacramento years ago. So lacrosse heritage in that family. It's in the blood. It's like a violation there and so Cody Simpson will Begin the possession for Bella Vista. Got to value this possession. Can we make it 7-4? Stay or closer? They're going to want to execute an offense here. This is not it. Simpson. The right hand is not going to help. He's going to take a shot. So he put, he put the stick on his right hand, which is where his defender was. Higgins with a comfortable save. And Boda once again. See the lacrosse IQ to just not push that. Just just hold on to it. Walk walk it over here and wait till all your guys get on. Grant. Now we'll play. Cowan. Pettis coming back on now. Back behind the net. Bailiff. Way out in front again. They're calling. There's a stutter step. This is Grant. Grant with a spin move. Sends it into the middle. Bella Vista controls it. 
That's Hayes Reed. Good, good, good. Look how he stayed in the open he space. He can just move with this. He stayed in the space that had no blue shirts. So got to call the midi back. Cody Simpson doing a great job to stay back. He was across but backed up before Reed crossed. Thomas comes up with it now for BV. Yep, over. No oh, failure to advance. Failure to advance. All right, well, 6-19 to go in the second. It's 7-3 to three in favor of Vista Del Lago. See, the long stick effectively bring that, brought that upfield, but the, uh, the rest of the BV white shirts weren't moving to get open enough uh, to find somebody open to pass that to. Vista just working the perimeter right now. Bailiff. Nice. Bailiff on the move, winds up from the left. Boom. He scores. Zachary Bailiff. We'll want to see that on the films too. I think he, he used the screen of those two uh, BB defenders that were between him and, uh, and uh, River. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't think River, we saw him move at the ball. Ball went zipped right past him. I think the shooter there utilized those screens for, for, for placement for his shot. Five goal lead for Vista. That's Bailiff's first goal of the of the game. 19th of the year. So he's one shy of 20 for this season. Ellsworth clawing and fighting for this one. And we're going to get a timeout called by the Eagles of Vista Del Lago. So it's an 8-3 lead. Uh, we talked about how they are an elite team, a very good team. They've got players that are going on to the next level next season. And again, Vista Del Lago is controlling possession. BV's had some good looks. They've uh, found the net three times, but uh, uh, some unforced errors and some other issues have kind of aided Vista Del Lago and what they're able to do tonight. Yeah, I think BV a, li a little bit back tonight, a little bit back to the failed clear. Uh, they did much better against Rockland <coughs> in clearing the ball, but a little bit, uh, a little bit back to the fail clear, which reduces your possessions. Possessions are incredibly important against a good team like this. You've got to maximize them, and so once you make a save, um, you know, down at your end with a goalie, or get a turnover while you're playing defense and get it upfield, you got to get it across midfield and, and now go on offense. So um, s some of that is, uh, uh, again, like I said, make the passes, make the right choices. Some of that's been going on, but uh, like that last one. Good job of Longstick getting the ball upfield, but then he got up there and sort of got trapped because nobody else was moving, moving enough. Get back to a little bit to the JV game. Individual hustle is what it's going to take. If you're going to want to play with these guys who are bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, you're going to have to turn it up in your own right. Five and a half to go here in the second quarter. Vista back in possession. Grant. So Vista's got two guys on the crease. We haven't seen that before. It's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two guys up top, two guys on the crease, two guys behind. And those two guys on the crease, let's see how active they are. One's bouncing around, the other bouncing around. He, uh, the other guy moved. Pettis. So what they're looking to do is get a guy open on the crease. That's Voda once again. Now they're out of it. it Nobody on the crease. This is Farfan. Farfan nice right out in front. Hit the goalie. Save River Kinley. So Vista Del Lago called a timeout, called a play, and didn't make it happen, uh, which is cool. Nice job, BV. Yeah, give, now, the, give BV the credit. Now we got to clear and see see how the other all the other white shirts aren't moving that much. They aren't moving that much. We lose the ball, and Vista Del Lago just took their time here. That's okay. Hit the nice job, goalie save. River Kinley once again. Nice save by number one, River Kinley. Hayes Reed gets a shove. Shovel pass too. Okay, he's got him. He's got a short stick. He's got a short stick. He's got to make the decision. There it is. Good. Right in the middle of the field. That's Nico Posein. There's a swinging shot. That one goes wide. 
We'll give Nico Pose a lot of credit there to get the ball upfield and get it in position. Found the open man in Polanco. Fortunately, it didn't end up. Needed that one. That needed was that, that was that was good movement by Bella Vista. Well, I needed that goal. Um, flag down. Needed that. Uh, you got Polanco with time and room. Um, you know, leading scorer. We need him to. We need him to get that done. Some shots miss, of course, because you're sh only shooting for the pipe, shooting for the edges. Of course, you miss some of the time. So we've got a we've got a flag down. Or do we? No, there's flag down. Here's okay, our ref. So here is our call. Blue. Delay a game. Technical foul. Didn't get five yards on the restart. Okay. So that's 30 seconds. Bella Vista man up. And Bunny will begin. Here's so Polanco. BB's got a man down near the crease, which they don't normally do on man up. Joe Thomas. Back out in front. Now, he'll swing it left side, Bunny. Now Polanco outside again. They'll work it around. Thomas. He's looking Thomas. across. Here's a shot. Here's a shot winding yes, up. Score! Jackson Ellsworth. Number 10, Jackson Ellsworth. That shot was inside of 15 yards. Looked like maybe it's about 12 or so. Um, you know, a little closer than a lot of times PB shoots. But again, you saw them work the, work the ball around and create the open space for him to be uh, there with time and with room. He had all the time he wanted to to find his spot and all the room uh, to, to have his hands free and let that let that shot fly. So Fourth, well, well constructed ma man up. Fourth goal of the year for Jackson Ellsworth, ninth of his career. And that brings it to an 8-4 game. We'll give you an update on the girls' uh, varsity game at Vista Del Lago. I will give you a hint. The news is not good. Out front once again. That is Isaac Lee. And Lincoln Zachney. Bailiff. Got a man on the crease. Front. Man on the open on the crease. And Zachney still controls it on the outside. He's looking to make a move. If the crease man slides, that guy down on the crease Hooked is open. There he goes. Thomas. There he goes. The crease man's Forced open. the pass. Oh. Swinging shot, or they pass it over to the left. BB closes it off. See, he caught that pass and was looking inside. He was looking to give it to somebody inside. This is Bailiff. He's trying Ooh. an underhanded shot, and he scores. <laughs> Goal number seven, Their ninth goal of the game. See Joe Thomas, congratulate him after that shot. You wonder if those guys know each other. Maybe they play together in the summer. They're still talking. <laughs> Friendly. So... Right around the two th minute, you call two that and a half trip. mark. You could call that a trip, yep. Oh, hold, all right. Hold go over to Bella Vista. Two and a half to go. All right, got to value the possession here. Too. In Folsom, Vista Del Lago leads the Bella Vista girls 9 nothing at halftime. There's a shot that goes wide. Bella Vista will control the possession here. 2.15 to go. Thomas, sitting on 49 for his career. He'll work it behind. There's Bunny. Toe drag. Bunny loops around a couple of defenders. Good job to hang on to that. Bring it out. Sweeping shot. Yeah. Score! You oh, know who. Number 22, Mateo Polanco. Mateo Polanco. That is career goal. Where do I <laughs> on all of my notes about him? 111 for uh, Mateo Polanco. So, you know, BB's going to want to just try and create that situation again and again and again. A another situation I I'd like to see BB do is, is pick off Polanco's long stick, bring him up, up top, and have him dodge from there in a 1-4-1 kind of setup like, uh, like Vista was just set up before. I think we can, uh, we can draw a slide and get a guy open on the crease, or Polanco gets an open shot. 
Vista controlled that, but uh, the Broncos stayed close. Jackson Ellsworth comes up with it now. Ellsworth, there there's Polanco yes, again. Sir. He scores! Go Broncos. Two quick ones from Mateo Polanco. The Broncos are now within three. Vista coach is talking to each other after that one. I think they may be a little surprised at what's happening here. Less than 20 seconds between those two goals. And uh, honestly, I was surprised at BV's performance at Rockland on last Friday. Um, you would not have thought the BV team that they had been, um, you would not have thought would have done so well against Rockland. Well, BV played their best game uh, of the season last week against a very good Rockland team. And this kind of play right here has them down, you know, by three against the number six team in the state. And what was it that made that happen? After losing the faceoff, Bella Vista stayed stayed up there on defense, stayed aggressive on defense, forced the loose ball. Ellsworth is the one that came up with it, and then he found Polanco, and Polanco was in his sweet spot. Right, and closer than the last shot. Um, so, you know, transition, they were able to, uh, you know, able to, uh, they got to fix the goal. That looks like <laughs> That's we have cool. some, some goal issues. Uh, the, the, the shot was too hard. So um, a couple of the coaches out there for Bella Vista. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of coaches, we should point out that uh, head coach Jim Goldsmith is on vacation. Dan Posehn has the uh, uh, has the uh, responsibility of the team here. He's got the reins on the Bronco. Reins on the Bronco. Yeah, in fact, he was one of the two guys out there that was uh, helping uh, fix the net. So those last two shots were the same shot. Uh, and they probably hit roughly the same place, and they might have popped a... Uh, up one of the uh, one of the bands on the on the goal. Broncos. This time they Vista is able to emerge free. This is Bailiff. Couple of goals already. Minute and a half. So Vista, you know, you know they have plays, and you know with a minute and a half, you know they can just call one, and and have a good chance of creating a, a quality a high percentage shot. So let's just watch their whole offense work here and see what see what they do here. They got an open set. They got one guy a little bit down low toward the crease. They spin one rotation. They got two guys down a little bit low. In the move, that's Isaac Lee. One pops out. This ball, Broncos control, down by three. 50 seconds. That's Montana Ornelas. It's not your best move just to drive straight into a guy. Still trying to fight for it. Cody Simpson's also there. Jack McCasey takes a swipe at it. Still loose. Rylan Wilson is there as well. And ultimately, all of that leads to Brandon Tebow coming up I with call, it for I Bella Vista. Call timeout. Call timeout. Call timeout. Tebow on yeah. the move. Gets by the defender on the long stick. And now the whistle. I think they did. Yep. You can see the Bella Vista coaches and the, the crowd uh, roaring their approval on the timeout. Maybe they heard you, David. Because we know they all have earpieces and they're <laughs> listening in, right? He should have heard it in his own head. Uh, 21 seconds. Long stick coming up the sideline. In trouble. Let's stop that situation. We've got a timeout, maybe even two. Let's stop that situation and get this situation under control for ourselves. And, you know, restart here on the 35-yard line uh, by the wing line. And get our, you know, it's 20 seconds left. Let's call our play and get the last shot. You know, we talked in the JV game about common opponents. Uh, the common opponent is Whitney. And Vista Del Lago beat Whitney at Whitney 16 to 15. One goal win. And of course, as we know, uh, the Broncos, they, uh, uh, they lost 20 to three. Talking with, to Whitney. Uh, with the Vista coach in the parking lot before the game. Um, he and I played in the men's league together before. Uh, so it's good to catch up with them. They were down by 10 at one point in that Whitney game. Oh, wow, and they came back. And they came back. So he wasn't really asked about how they did. They should have done better, but Whitney is very good. There we go, we're creating a shot here. But bad things happen sometimes, and I, well, what about that? Got to take Recovering it. from that. That's Polanco again, and there's a save by Higgins. Ooh, ooh, Way out in front, another price. shot. On the baseline, four seconds to go. That one is out of bounds to, uh, to Vista Del Lago. Joe Thomas just got his outlook on life changed right here. He's staying in. And here's Higgins. Higgins is going to launch. And we come to the end of the first half of play here at Bella Vista High School. A very entertaining first half. The uh, 
Eagles jumped out early four to nothing, but the Broncos have uh, uh, have found their way back into this one, trailing by just three here at halftime. You know, when number 91 plays number six, number 91 in the state's got to feel okay about being down only three goals so far. Um, so okay is okay. You want to feel better than that. You want you know you want to win the game. Um, you don't just want to roll over and expect no, we're just going to lose. But you got to feel okay, meaning it's within reach. So um, Bellavis needs to feel good. Now they'll be getting beat up. Joe Thomas just got you know pounded in the back right there. We'll see how he is for the for the second half. We've seen Vista bigger, stronger, faster, quicker. That's how they are, and they're, they're going to be that way in the second half as well. So Vista, uh, I'm sorry, Bella Vista, make the right choices, capitalize on man up, be aggressive on ground balls, got to get those clears, and you know we can see what the second half brings. There's one thing I know about Joe Thomas, getting pushed in the back like that is just going to make him mad. And if you're an opponent, you don't want Joe mad. Yeah, he got <laughs> pounded in the back. So um, we'll see. I mean, he, it, it may change his it may change his night. We'll find. Well, you said it changed his outlook in life. It's, so yeah, it did. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he is uh, he is okay. So in that first half uh, for this one. Um, Polanco has found the net twice for uh, for Bella Vista. Uh, two of their six. Ellsworth has scored, as has Jonah Alonso and Matthew Bunny and Kyler Simpson. So good distribution. Yeah. Leading scorer in Mateo Polanco, uh, 112 career goals, and then uh, four others with one each. And so they're 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 able to distribute the ball, find others who can score, which is a good thing. And that's what it takes too. Uh, you know, you're going to count on your main guys to get some goals, and they will. They'll get goals every week, every game. But if you can get the other guys contributing, it also makes the defense go. Hey, wait, that guy, that guy shot last time. That guy scored last time. That that guy, that guy, that guy. There's lots of them. So it really, really helps take some of the pressure off your main guys. Um, you know, watching the Vista um, huddle down here, uh, I know some of these coaches down there, and. Uh, you can see, I think I think they're a little surprised that they're in this situation. Um, and now, one other thing about this coaching staff down here, I think they're going to be very good in their adjustments. If there's adjustments they need to make, I think they're going to get them done really well. You know, Vista's head coach, Mike Messersmith, played at Sac State and coached at Sac State. And quite a long time ago, um, Sac State went to the college club national championships. They didn't win. They lost to Texas. But as I was telling him in the parking lot what I've told my teams that have won lost championship games is you're not a champion until somebody beats you and so he coached the Sac State team to you know number two in the nation in college club so experience and lots of it that's that's what's made this Vista program what it is and then I think they have the ability to do their adjustments based on that other coach down there Jim Nemi played at uh, Chico um, both Mike and Jim and I, all three played on the men's league together here. So Jim's got a lot of lacrosse experience as well. And uh, so they've got very good coaching program. I think they're going to be able to make good adjustments as needed. That's David Houseworth. I'm George Tharolson. Glad to have you along here at Bella Vista High School. Entertaining second half coming your way shortly. We'll take a break and let you listen in to the uh, Bella Vista band here at halftime as the Broncos trail this one by three, nine to six.
So let's uh, get you ready for the second half of play here as we're uh, less than two minutes to go before we get started. A very entertaining first half. It looked early on, David, like the uh, Eagles were going to run away with this one, kind of like they did in the JV game. But uh, give the Broncos credit for not giving up and continuing to fight back. This is something that will help them, even if they don't win this game. Just the fact that they know that they can play with a team like this yeah. is a confidence builder. Yeah, that you can hang with a team like this. And the same thing happened at Rockland. Rockland got up three zip in no time last Friday night. Uh, and, uh, you know, the game ended with four goals. But, again, BB made it a two-goal game for a lot of the game. So, you know, three goals, not that much in lacrosse. We've seen BB strike strike quickly. We've seen, you know, you get Polanco in his right spot, and that's a high percentage That's a high percentage shot. And uh, th th that can happen more and more. So uh, BB's got to feel feel pretty good to be at this point and just watch the body language of the, of the uh, Vista coaches in the huddle there and I, they just said they're gonna watch this you know, tonight or tomorrow or whatever um, you know I, I think maybe they're a little surprised uh, you've mentioned Vista Del Lago did play last night maybe there's something going on um, whatever it is they're here tonight they got to play tonight and right that's who BB's playing tonight and so um, they just gotta Vista Del Lago's gotta call it up maybe play more like themselves, but BB, this is the team who's here tonight, let's play them, and BB cuts their mistakes, and they can keep this game really close, and I'll tell you what, if you keep it close into the fourth quarter, anything can happen. Well, you know, BB had a back-to-back -back earlier this year. They got throttled by Whitney, and then the next night they were in uh, That's right. They were in uh, Grass Valley in against the Nevada Union and scored, uh, they had, I don't remember, I think it was either 13 to 12 or 12 to 11 was the final. They lost it by one goal. And it was cold, yeah, it was kind of uh, misty, mm -hmm. uh, but there was right and left. Polanco scored eight goals in the game, uh, including number 100 for his career. And uh, th they actually had a pretty decent night scoring-wise, at least. So, you know, you never know with, with the, with, as I said before, with these crazy kids, you know. And that's true, too, at any level. We'll see that sometimes in the pros at other sports. I mean, a guy will have an off night, then have an on night, and then an off night. So the same is true here. They're Keep still quick. There. Doesn't matter if they played last night. They're still pretty quick. Good slide. Good slide. And that's Voda. College bound big guy Isaac and they Lee. turn him away. Also, also college bound. Right out in front. Loose ball. Players wind up on the ground. River Kinley trying to secure this one. It will stay with Vista Del Lago. Now the, the coach, uh, the ref on the GLE called it for Bella Vista. The, the ref up here on the 40 yard line called it for Vista Del Lago. Right out in front. A save. Good job, River Kinley. Here come the Broncos on the move. That's it, run away from him. Good, good. That's right decisions. Ellsworth. Uh, forced error. And that will go out of bounds. That one was just a little too tall for Caden Hoop. 
So one fewer possession for Bella Vista, one greater uh, possession for Vista de Lago, and you can't do that against the number six team in the state. Against uh, with something that you had control of, which was that pass. Ha! And even with the long stick, he couldn't bring that one in. Bella Vista will take possession. Watch that on the films. Was, was the goalie's feet a little flat when he passed that? I, I missed it. Maybe they were. And that's the kind of thing that can make a pass go too high. All right, let's get some BB guys moving. The guys without the ball. Well, the guy with the ball is moving. Yeah, Thomas looked okay. That's not Thomas, but it looks like runs like him. He looked okay at halftime after taking that big shot at the end of the quarter. Here's Polanco. So he's going to want to drive. Polanco's looking to make his he's move. Got, he's got big help in there. Takes a shove. Bring it back out. Hatfield's out there. Kyler Simpson. That was Hatfield once again. See, at the Rockland game, the BV middies were, were on offense were going backwards because they were being attacked and beaten up by the Rockland uh, defense. Same thing happened right there. Again, bigger, stronger, faster. Bailiff in front. Pass along the ground. Wow. Yeah, nice. Showing off sometimes. Uh, just nice controlled pass. Left side. On, on AstroTurf? Yeah, I guess you can get away with yeah, it. Yeah, with that service, you wouldn't do that on grass. Bailiff. Works off a screen from Pettis, uh, now finds Pettis. That's a nice pass, he's got it. It's safe. Save, River Kinley. Nice save by number one, River Kinley. He wasn't open. Kinley continuing to play in goal All here. Alone on the crease. Nice defense. Nice defense, he's hurt. Player hmm. on the ground for Vista Del Lago. And they'll stop play. That's Owen Pettis. Get himself up. Yeah, it'll be all right. That's good. By the time he gets to the sideline, if he comes out, and it looks like he will, coach comes onto the field. By the time he gets to the sideline, I predict he'll, he'll, the limp will have gone away. Well, it might go, into, might go on out of the field. That'll take a little while, too, and he knows that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but, but I, I think that he'll be fine soon. That's yeah. That's all that, that's, that's all I'm saying here. I think that it might give the, give the he's out motion to his other coaches, maybe. They, they, they may, may not need him the rest of the night, and uh, of course, you know, not want to want to take injury. Want to take right out in yep. front. Uh, There's a shot wide. Now back out in front. There it is, and a goal. goal is this Number 16, Isaac Lots Lee. of movement there. Isaac Lee, his first goal of the game, seventh of the season, and that makes it 10-6. When the ball's just that long down there in front of the goal, you know it's easy for bad things to happen, and uh, so. Vista has that ability to keep that kind of you know, keep the game at that end of the field. And back to BB's just so got to uh, uh, um, value their possessions when they've got it. Keep it away. Keep the hand. Keep it out of the hands of the Vista offense. So the lead is four. Bennett Sackman. I believe it was his brother who was a senior last year. Scored 77 goals to lead Vista Del Lago. Here's Voda. Nice feed. Ah, ah, ah. Loose ball. Eagles control. They'll work it behind the net. Back out front. Trying to turn the corner, nice save. save River Kinley. He stole that from him. Nice save by number one, River Kinley. Great job by the uh, uh, this offense to, to, to stand in there and soak all those checks and take get that shot made. But tough save. Uh, and that one's going to go out of bounds. One fewer Bella Vista possession, one more Vista Del Lago possession. And again, another unforced error. So eight minutes and change here in the third quarter. Pursuit there on defense. Nice pass. And there's a shot and a score. That looks like that was Alex Grant. Number 30, Alex Grant. 
So that's the slick stick handling that you can get from uh, from Vista, and uh, they can they can they can make this game run away from you, take you know, take this game over by doing that kind of thing. You get a little bit of unsettled situation there, and they go zip 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 shot. So just about a minute 15 or so between goals there for uh, Vista Del Lago, and now they find themselves up by five. And that that shot right there was created by the by the over pursuit of the BB defense player. Uh, again, make the right decisions. And you know, that decision to fly that far out on that guy that hard, maybe not the best decision. Boom, 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 boom. And there's uh, now a six goal lead for Vista Del Lago, which is their largest of the game. That one goes to Bennett Sackman, wins the faceoff, takes, uh, takes matters into his own hands, and finds the back of the net. 12 to six is our score. Did we mention halftime adjustments uh, and Vista's ability to do that? I don't know that we've necessarily seen an X's and O's adjustment here. We might just have, have had an attitude adjustment uh, on the Vista team. Well, and you, you mentioned that you thought that the, the coaches and the players were, were, were surprised to just be up by three. And Perhaps uh, were. So, so, yeah, so maybe there was an attitude adjustment. Yeah, wake up, uh, illegal procedure here. Uh, yeah, wake up call and like, oh, we're not, being, uh, we're not being who we are. Let's get out here and be who we are. Maybe that's what we've seen in the last few. Um, See if they continue to do that throughout the rest of the half here. Here's Cody Simpson. Polanco uh, tried Bunny. to get it to Bunny. Bunny wasn't expecting that. And Bunny was moving one way. Polanco uh -huh. thought he would move the other way. And the ball goes out of bounds. And uh, Yeah, you're right. Bunny was moving away. Here's Higgins. Higgins will launch. Got to be white. Oh, you gotta have That's that Cody ball. Simpson. That's a missed opportunity for Bella Vista. Good hit. Voda takes a shot on the sideline. Here's Got Lee. Cross. Cutting in front. There's a shot and a score. That's Bailiff. So River made a great move to come out of the goal and could have put a big lick on that shooter. But River's going, I'm this big and he's that big. And um, you know that's a dangerous occupation there for him to, to, to make that, to make a hit there. So he, he did what he could, made the right move. But again, uh, uh, Vista's unsettled ability. In the span of two minutes and two seconds, Vista Del Lago has scored four times. Quick strike ability. Yes. And that's that's stick skills. That's lacrosse uh, IQ. That's um, working together, obviously. And you know they they can practice at this level. They have this kind of uh, ability so they can, when they practice, they can practice like this. Right. I think you're right about the attitude adjustment because they're they're at the point now where they're just starting to impose their will. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's evidently we weren't seeing the real Vista team in the first half. Oh. And, again, maybe it will, maybe, the, again, being at, uh, being in Danville last night for a uh, rather uh, tough, Action-packed game. I'm sure they had to work hard last night. Monta Vista has been um, a, a major, uh, a major program in the state for forever. They probably still are, and um, so yeah, you go play a tough, tough game uh, that far away, and then make the drive, get up, go to school, then, then another away game here across town. First half. Fan. What a pass. Um, yeah. They, 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 maybe they River Kinley out themselves. of the goal. Now he's a back save. out in front. What a save. This is the BB bench. Going white. And Bella Vista will have possession of the ball. Oh, Kinley went back there trying to secure the possession, had trouble with it, and now he'll take it out of the net. Hey, look at the fake. Nice fake on River Kinley's he part. He's still now. on the move. Doesn't have help. Let's see like maybe B ball. BB work on that. BB work on the goalie coming up to the 40, 45, 50 yard line here and then getting something done. They've, they've effectively brought the ball up to there, but so far they haven't effectively dished it off somewhere. Let's hustle Polanco. Yeah. Seven goal yeah. game now. No. We've got a penalty. I don't know what the penalty was. You, I guess you call that a slash, but you know he didn't hit him in any illegal spot. Boda. Maybe a trip. Back out front. There's Grant. Boda once again. He'll spin it behind the net. Grant once again. He's found the net already once. He's going to wind up. 
Save River Kinley. And now the penalty will be called. Like one minute. It's like a penalty on Bella Vista. Phoebe needs, Phoebe needs another attack, and there he goes. And how, when was the last time we saw Mateo Polanco in the penalty box? Yeah, I mean, he's just not in the position to, to I think he's talking about the coaches a little bit, I think, uh, just to coaches maybe. Uh, he's just not in the position to make, you know, illegal checks and so on cause uh, as an attackman. He, you know, he, he had a little harder ride on that on that play right there, a little harder ride than usual. Oh, uh, that was going to be a shot. Bailiff. College to college there, it's eight to seven. Thought about it now. There's a swinging shot. Save River Kinley. Another nice save by River Kinley. About and 26 seconds unofficial in the penalty. High pass. That's going to go over to Bella Vista. So BB is still manned down for about um, 24 seconds. So if Vista wants to ride hard and ride every single guy, they could. I'm making this a harder clear for BV. And we got some BV guys moving a little bit. The middies are moving at midfield. Now they jump the goalie. That's that's a problem. There's Feeney. One on one, one on two. Back to the goalie. Good decision. Kinley's just going to let that one fly. We'd like to see uh, 17 play a little more aggressive uh, ride on that long stick there. Intercept right out the front. All comes loose. Vista controls it. Still man up Boda. for a few. Boda thought about it. Good defense there. Back not, to the X. Not take that fake. Here's Bailiff. Bailiff closed off. Dumps it underneath. BB is even. Four white. And the Broncos will take possession here. Three thirty-eight to go. Fail clear. Lee winds up on that the ground. Was, that was a flop. Back to the X. Now here again, Voda. This is quick feet, right. making people move. Boom. And oh, Voda finds the goal once again. Vota. Quick feet, just quick movement. Bella Vista is doing not doing bad, forcing them, you know, forcing them to make the moves, but Voda knows what to do in that circumstance. Yeah. And so now I, th I think we're seeing Vista turn themselves on, turn themselves into what they can be. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it is hard to defend a guy like that. So the uh, Eagles actually went almost four minutes without scoring after that uh, onslaught of four goals in two minutes. Oda once again. Farfan behind the net. And they'll work it left. Grant out in front once again. And now here's Isaac Lee. Like a second rotation here. Now Grant's looking to make a move. This will go over to Bella Vista. So a final from Folsom, the Vista Del Lago Eagles defeat the Bella Vista girls varsity 15 to nothing. And the girls without Regan Silvers who is hurt, Julia Thomas was on a uh, Field trip for class. School does come first. Uh-oh. So no goal. Call for interference as River Kinley came out of the. So that one 
though it winds up in the net, is not going to change the score. We're at two minutes to go in the third quarter. It was close heading into halftime. It was just a three-goal deficit for Bella Vista. It's been all Eagles in this third quarter. That rep was 60 yards away from that from that play. But <coughs> so uh, Bella Vista got to got to take advantage of this man up. They've got an extra guy for 30 seconds. They got a couple of man up uh, uh, goals against very good Whitney team the other night. So it can be done. Swinging right shot, there. score! Goal Mateo Polanco. Polanco with the hat trick. Number Bottom right. That's some great movement. Thomas to Ellsworth to Polanco. I could, I'd be okay with that law firm too. You're right. <laughs> so just under two minutes to go, the Broncos hit the scoreboard for the first time in this quarter. It's 14 to seven. V Vista Del Lago by a touchdown. That's that Sackman that comes up with it once again. Scored off a face off already tonight. And a failure to advance. Vista coach has taken issue with that. We'll check that on the film, see if he's right or wrong. Ellsworth being forced wide. He's over, they could call that, but not consequential. Thomas. Thomas gets free, in on goal. Thomas looking for number 50, closed off. Polanco. Oh, he could have driven on that because there was no help. There's Kyler Simpson, already has one tonight. Behind the net, it's Caden Hoop. Polanco once again. Polanco looking to make his move. Bodying in. See how turnaround uh, shot. That one goes. See how patient 12 was on the slide. He didn't slide. He didn't slide. He didn't slide. And then he effectively never did because he had confidence in number 11 to play defense. And Polanco wasn't really making progress. Very good discipline on the, on the defense. Simpson swinging shot. That one deflected away. Broncos should keep this one. Could be the same situation here. Blanco's going to, oh, he went left. Yeah, see around his shot, goes Oops. wide again. Good job by Matthew Bunny to secure possession. Blanco tried a low percentage shot. You want to see him take high percentage shots. Here's Bunny. For a screen from Polanco. Now Polanco at the X. All right, no help. There's no help right now. There's no help right now. Polanco winds up down on the ground. Still has it, gets up. Quarter coming to an end. Polanco. Has the ball jarred loose. Under a second to go, and the third quarter comes to an end. Welcome to college lacrosse, Mateo Polanco. That's, you know, he's, he's been eating up the teams around here, uh, and he scored here tonight, too. He scored against Rockland as well. He can score against good teams, but uh, that's the kind of thing he's going to face when he goes to the next level next year. That's a long time from now, and, you know, we don't care because he's playing for Bella Vista right now. Right. But just just an indicator of, you know, when you match up against good long sticks, they're going to they're gonna be able to do that. Learn some, gotta learn some new tricks. So 12 minutes of action left to go here at Bella Vista High School. The Broncos find themselves now down seven as uh, they were only down three at halftime and then all of a sudden a couple of minutes go by in that third quarter and then Vista Del Lago roars to life. Did they show what they're made of? Uh, you know, quick strike ability and uh, bigger, like I said before, several times, bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, better stick skills, uh, good lacrosse IQ. Uh, yeah, they're, they're able to work quickly together, you know, crisply together. Um, it, it, it just shows. And so they, they, they turned it on. They could, they could probably even do more. Um, so we'll, you know, we'll see how they carry through in the fourth quarter. BV, it's just got to be a better BV. Got to get the clears. Got to make the right decisions. Got to get guys open on the clears. Got to value the possessions. You, you, you might need to look to your horses here, you know, Polanco, Bunny, Thomas, uh, for, for scores. 
but we want to get high quality, uh, high percentage shots. Again, that last Polanco shot, last Polanco shot, yeah, a little bit of a prayer. And, uh, and it's maybe, is he a little frustrated about not being able to get normal shots on his drives, potentially? But get him in time and room, which he's had a couple times, that's money. Let's Bronco get that. Broncos are trailing as we move into the fourth quarter now, 14 to 7. Remember, against Whitney, one the other really, really upper echelon team. That's a nice Give pass, and, and there's a, a shot. River Kinley equal to the task. They lost to Whitney 20 to 3. They're only losing this one 14 to 7, and they've found the net four more times than they did against Whitney. It's later in the season. It was so early in the season against Whitney. Um, you know, they've had, what, six, three, three or four more weeks practice and end games since then. Uh, and, you know, again, BB played their best game of the season last Friday, uh, I think because it's later in the season. Ah, forced error. Because it's later in the season, I, I think that's a, a big difference versus uh, if, if this BB team were playing Whitney now, it might be like this. But it does just show that some definite improvement on the part of Bella Vista. Yes. BB had a, a lot of trouble clearing against Whitney, but Friday against Rockland, they did not. Zachney. Uh, so, uh, I mean, that's 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 one of the big parts of their improvement uh, so far this season, which was critical. Alex Grant comes on, and he picks it up. Triplet. Bailiff. Bailiff left side, closed off. Right out in front, Triplett's shot goes wide. You see him throw that fake? Didn't really get bought by the BB defenseman. He Broncos got himself open, but didn't buy the fake. Broncos secure possession. But not for long. This is Triplett again, collision with two players, loose ball. He wanted that, you know, wasn't really open. Wasn't necessarily well advised, but he wanted it and pushed it anyway. Now something hurts. Broncos on the move. Tan hurts. Reinforcements coming on. Montana Ornelas has it now. Cody Simpson is in the game. As is Kyler Simpson. They'll go left side. Behind the net. Bunny. Bunny will loop his way around. He gets free. Polanco had an opportunity there, but Mason Higgins equal to the task. That pass wasn't all that great. He was completely harassed, and uh, you know, and, and then uh, Polanco was a little too close to the goalie. Easy for the goalie to intercept. Yeah, forced an error. And Eklund goes out of bounds. So here come the Broncos once again. Broncos have Jonah Alonzo on the attack. Matthew Bunny is there. Polanco, Max Morris, Cody Simpson. And here's Montana Ornelas. Scored last week against Del Oro. Cody Simpson. We'll back it out. Reset. Oh, he had him. He had him. Oh, Centering geez. pass. He was right there. Is that 17? Alonzo. Alonzo's got to have his stick. And oh, a, there's a score. Goal, I missed it. Number 22, Mateo Polanco. Well, what do you think? Right. So <laughs> if you were to guess. <laughs> but Al Alonzo's got to have his stick up when he's the guy on the crease right there. That, that pass came to him and uh, didn't have his stick ready and missed the pass. So that makes it 14 to 8. Eight fifty-nine to go in the fourth quarter. This Del Lago controls off the draw. Isaac Lee will take it near midfield. And Vista Del Lago will take their time. Bailiff. Job. Nice take away. That's Nick Tharlson with the uh, the takeaway. 
So Casey has it now. BB's going to need to get, get this in the box. He's got a cross. There it is. Good decision. Decision. Wilson Excellent. with a great pass. He's got 10. He's got 10. Polanco. He got eaten. Eaten Swing by the and shot as he was eaten. It goes out of bounds. Should be Bella Vista ball it is, as they will call that a shot. Six-point game. 7.58 to go in the fourth quarter. Broncos will work it outside. Here's Morris. Bunny, or oh, check that, that's Hoop. Fall down. He's having a little difficulty controlling it, and it's swept up in the air. And that's Ethan Jones also on Ethan. the long stick. He scored with the long stick tonight. Now he's looking to make the pass. River Kinley winds up with it. Decisions, not the best decision. Vista does not have numbers yet, but their, their offense is getting in position. So again, good opportunity to watch just the entire Vista offense work. They're, they're you know they're just under control. They're, they're gonna they're gonna run you know what they want. They don't they don't have to score, but they're gonna run. Swinging shot, nice. score, Bailiff. Riser. Goal Vista. Number seven. And uh, River River's looking like he wants that one back. Just went right over his head. He's still kind of kind of beside himself about it. That was a riser shot. You see the release on the shot was very low to the ground, but it you know went near top shelf on the goal. Um, I bet you in practice, River doesn't see that shot very much because I, I haven't seen or rarely seen any uh, Bella Vista guys shoot a riser. It's a little harder to track. It's the fourth goal of the night for Bailiff. 6.45 to go. For Bailiff, 22 goals on the season. And a whistle. This is going to go to Bella Vista. Cody Simpson will bring it in. Disagreement among the refs here. They're trying to figure it out. One ref called one thing, another called another. Blue ball. All right, so. Grant. Bryce Cowan, and he finds uh, Sackman. Body mismatch, look at the mismatch here. Seven size against a 45 size. Got to clear out. That's Bailiff on Posehn. So they, see the early double by, uh, by BB? There's a oh. shot, that one's too tall. He wants that one back. That's Farfan that took that shot. Got a couple of goals tonight as well. Nice swim move. So he's able to and spend yes. his time deciding who to pass to here. Bailiff. I'll swing it to the outside. Good stick. Right out front. Here's a chance for Farfan. Good job, defense. Tied him up. Made a shot. A stick on it. Delayed his shot and got a goalie save. Right side. There's a shot. That one goes wide. Flag down. Another flag. A couple of flags. Second flag would be Mal. They're, they're uh, pointing towards uh, possession towards Vista Del Lago. So. Yeah, it's uh, four. Is that uh, Casey? He's a little, he's a, uh, he's got a tenacious defense temperament, and you like that. And I think that that second flag might have been related to temperament. Comportment, you might call it. And he gets a fist bump from 
Acting head coach Dan Posehn. So he Illegal comes body up. check one minute. A blue, unnecessary. No, so we no. have. Uh, so it's it's one white, one blue. In hockey, they'd call that coincidental minors. So the, the blue one is non-releasable. But it should be white ball, right? Shouldn't it? I I, I thought the blue foul was second. Looks like they are going to give it to Bella Vista. Yeah, yeah. So it's five on five here for offense. So for the clear, Bella Vista has six because they have the goalie. That's going to blue. Okay. Figure it out. Five on five. <laughs> Bella Vista has the goalie. <laughs> Start outside the box. Voda. Voda's going to try one. That one goes wide. It's going to stay with Vista. Trying to pad his stats a little bit there. Pretty low angle. Very high crisp shot. but little Lee. A little low percentage. Hmm. The Broncos will take possession. Run on, run on, run on. Grab it go. and go. Yep. The restarts are quick. Cody Simpson. So you take advantage of the defense being out of position. Voda had the defense there. Simpson has some room to roam. So again, five on Blanco. five down here. Polanco out in front. He's looking for a chance. Swinging yes, shot. He scores. Yes, Number 22, Mateo Polanco. Yeah. And 4:51 to go. He yeah, has a fan uh, fan pointing out that the BB might have had six guys on offense. We'll have to look down on films. If they did, that that would be a foul because they got a man in the box. But it has to be called. Yeah to be called that's the that's the thing you got to remember so that's the fourth goal of the game for Mateo Polanco so that's great production against you know the number six team in the state that's uh you know you need it and it's great to see that he's not just scoring against teams of lesser ability he's scoring against the good ones too Still five on five. Up, oh, BB released. BB man up. Like a shot goes wide. Blue released too, so we're six on six. Just under five minutes to go. Six point game. Mm, threading the needle there. Just a little bit low. I bet his feet were flat too when he sent that. Possession to Bella Vista. Put it backwards. Perfect. Decisions we were talking about. That's a good one. Well, that's not the best. See, I bet you the long sticks don't practice 40 and 50 yard passes very much. Threading the needle on a 40 or 50 yard pass. So as decisions go, this is not one that I'm, you know, nice. Really important. Good ball. defense. Well, there is there is some good play by Hayes Reed yeah. with the long stick. Out front, mm. players all over the place. That was a good shot. He, uh, he was completely harassed and still put it in. Paid a little price, too. You see him coming off? Head low, head high. <laughs> Sucking some wind. <laughs> He'll be all right. But uh, you know, defense, uh, you, you, again, you catch the ball in there, you're going to get converged upon pretty darn quickly and pay some price. Helmet off now. And so that now brings us to a seven point lead now for and, and, sitting, and sitting down. Just finishing the finishing the whole list of things for sixteen, the goal scorer there. Bodies wind up on the ground. Again, another flag. Off coming in way outside. Three minutes to go. By the way, that's Isaac Lee, number 16, Good the defense. goal scorer. Here's a swinging shot. That one goes wide. 
Look at the body mismatch there. Eight, you know, eight blue against four white. Giving up some size, but turn it back some. He re redodged, got a good shot, but at least won one of them. Take a penalty on the Broncos. Penalty on the Broncos. So Casey is going to serve. Vista making a call. Colorado. Let's see what they make it out to be. They got a they got a man on the crease. Two guys on the low wing. Essentially two guys up top. Guy behind. Six comes down. Crease man pops out a little. Two guys come to the crease. Do you see what that did? It draw it drew all of the white shirts down low to the goal, and they try to pass it to seven, who was about a little over 10 yards out, bad pass, but if he'd have caught that, he'd, that shot would have been up from 10 or 12. This is Bailiff. Good rotation. Right out in front, and there's Isaac Lee once again. None the worse for wear after that last goal, and he finds the back of the net again. Skip pass. Uh, they passed it not to the adjacent guy, but to a guy, you know, a couple over, and he's just enough open that, that close. Uh, you know, Vista Del Lago is good enough stick handlers to be able to uh, execute uh, a man up better than most teams around here, and that's that kind of, you know, feeding right through these tiny little seams, getting a getting a pass to a guy who might be barely open. He's open, but barely open, but he's that close. And you get that pass through there, that's a goal. Last two goals are the first two of the game for uh, Isaac Lee. He's up to eight for the season. That is Lucas Romanic. So about 140 here. You know, if, if Vista wanted to, they could just run this out. Uh, I suspect they'll work for a shot here somewhere. Sort of why not? Uh oh. And it's a little too tall, and that's going to come over to Bella Vista for possession. Just a little too lackadaisical. They were there up by uh, eight. Nice check. And the ball comes loose. A good uh, body check there. See, the stand by the sideline is not the best idea because out he goes. Yep. Same was true right here, the one that got checked from behind. You want to turn and go to the open side, open field. Go where there's open space. The, the sideline is another defender, a second defender. Just on the move. He'll take it. Oh, he thought foot. I hear flag. With the one minute mark here. Eight goal game. See if the Broncos can hit double digits here. Nice fakes. On the move. I bet Thomas looked at the clock on the way down. Joe Thomas. Yeah, found Polanco. There's Polanco. Face dodge. Good, pull, good to pull that out. Let's get, let's get the high Thomas once again. Let's get the high percentage shot. Sitting on 49. Now Simpson. Kyler. 31 seconds to go. Got Bunny out front. Polanco. One last matchup. Yes, and there's a shot and a score. Mateo oh, Polanco oh, once again. Number 22, Mateo Polanco. I think 11 thought he had him and uh, and stopped playing for a sec. And uh, I, we haven't seen that fake from Polanco. I hadn't seen that fake yet from Polanco yet this year. Good time to pull it out against a quality defenseman. And uh, caught, look at him right now. 11 can't believe he did that. Um, caught 11 not sleeping, but, you know, sort of expecting. 11 thought he beat him on the first dodge. Polanco throws the fake and redodge. Great shot. Sixth goal of the game for Mateo Polanco. Flag down. Tried to get that one to Voda, who then controls it. Time is running out here. 
Good save. River Kinley with the save with seven tenths of a second to go. They'll call the penalty. 30 seconds. Uh, but I think he's going to serve only seven tenths of a right. second. Get time off for good behavior or something. Yes. Uh, Kinley's got to feel good about the, that save right there. That was a monster shot from, you know, one of the top guys in the area. And uh, just, just stole it from him. Got to feel good. Look at Kinley right there in the goal right now. Look at him hamming <laughs> it up. He feels big. Got to love that. He's, he's, he's ready for the shot. He's thinking seven will send it. Does he have time to send it? Yeah. He does. And he scored. Ouch. Does that count? Uh, goal, yeah, the goal ref had his uh, hands up for goal. Okay. So Bailiff dots the, uh, puts the dot on the exclamation point for that one. And uh, the Eagles of Vista Del Lago win this one by a final score of 17, or 18, 18 to 10. So, that's at 0 0 when that one went in. So, is that, well, the, B, is that the BB fight song going? I I'm don't know the guessing. BB fight song. I don't know. <laughs> I probably play it during the uh, the football games as yep. well. Yep. George Tharles and David Houseworth with you here. Uh, we just witnessed Be Bella Vista score 10 goals against one of the most elite teams in uh, Northern California lacrosse. We didn't really talk about it, but Vista Del Lago last year made it as far as the semifinals of the North Coast section before losing to the eventual champion De La Salle. So this is a good this is a good program. Come up with 10 goals. Uh, certainly they had their issues and some of the, the main issues, the failed clears, uh, unforced errors, yeah, uh, reared their ugly head again. Some of that has been an issue all year, but some of that is also because of how good Vista Del Lago is. He scored 10 goals against a really good team. Yeah, they're the number six team in the state, according to Max Preps, and uh, boy, they look good. They are good. And bigger, faster, stronger, better stick skills, like we've been saying all night. Uh, maybe they weren't themselves all evening uh, for, the, for the first half, and they were themselves in the, in the second half. Um, but yeah, this is, we, we, we were comparing Bella Vista's uh, g uh, game against a good team like this to the Whitney team, which is really good. Bella Vista only came up with three that night. It was so much earlier in the season. So we're seeing Bella Vista get better, get better, get better, get better. And uh, so again, you gotta be better than yourself. They're doing it, they're doing it. And you got so Polanco down here talking with talking with uh, uh, Vista coaches and, and, and hugging with a bunch of uh, Vista, Bella, uh, Vista Del Lago players here. Oh, he's getting a picture with, uh, with a Vista coach, that's funny. I, I think, like you had mentioned, I think that there are some people that know other people. I remember the game at Vista last year and when the varsity game started, Joe Thomas was getting ready. I think he was taking a face off. And the public address announcer actually announced, is that Joe Thomas that I see? So I think that there is some kind of a connection between these two programs. The, uh, that Vista coach, maybe one of the Vista coaches is the head of the advanced program, the Summer All-Stars. Okay. And, and that may be who that was. Because if he is, then, you know, Polakos probably played for him and with him in the summer. So they, they are buddies. And, he, and he, hugged, he hugged a mom. The coach, Vista coach hugged a mom, too. So... Uh, uh. That, that, that that's likely what all of that is and uh, you know with those summer teams you, you travel out of state and travel far and that means you spent the weekend spent the week with them and you, you get pretty tight pretty close and so um, it's, it's, a, it's a great time it's a great experience and uh, and you know if he's the head of advance he's a good coach so after the loss to Rockland on Friday where uh, Bella Vista played the best game really uh, a complete game and then tonight, 10 goals against a very, very good Vista Del Lago team. As they head into Davis on Friday, yeah, you want to win these games. You, every time you take the field, you want to win. But what kind of momentum are they uh, carrying with them right now? Because even though they lost, they, they still have to feel good about the way they've performed. They should. I mean, they, like you said, uh, s chalk up 10. Uh, against a really good team, you get a lot of good saves uh, in the goal. You get some good defense play, turning away some uh, some good middies and some good attackmen. Um, lots of good things um, to, uh, uh, to to feel good about. And if you play like this against a team that's you know a lower level than than Vista Del Lago is. You you, know, you may get a win or you may get a much much closer game. So you know again, Bella Vista getting better than they are every week. That's that's just about all you can ask for, and uh, they're getting it done. So Davis is the next opponent for Bella Vista, and that will be on Friday. Davis is in Stockton tonight to take on 
uh, St. Mary's. Um, uh, the Blue Devils of Davis come into tonight at 5 and 3. And uh, Friday, the, well, actually, I believe this is their league opener against St. Mary's, and then they will take on the Broncos. Uh, uh, so a couple of games uh, on Friday. The JV squad will play at 5.30, and then the varsity game at 7.30. That's over at Davis High School. You can check out NFHS to see if they will have the live stream. I, I haven't seen that they will or not, but that is a, a road game. So uh, JV and varsity at Davis this Friday. Then BV is off for an entire week. The varsity is off for an entire week before they head to Grant uh, a week from Friday for a 5 o'clock varsity game over at Grant. That is a varsity only. Uh, the JV is going to be off until Wednesday, April 3rd. That's after this Friday against Davis. The JV will be off until April 3rd uh, when they take on Roseville, and that is when we will reconnect with you after uh, spring break and the Easter holiday. Uh, Bella Vista uh, will be back home on the 3rd to take on Roseville. So look at the, the schedule there. Uh, Davis 5-3. and three. Uh, We know that they're also one of the better programs around. They've, they've got a quality win in there. If we've got that in front of us, it might be good to find. Uh, uh, there's One of the teams that they've beaten is, uh, is pretty darn good. Uh, they beat Rockland. Davis beat Rockland. 11-7. to seven. Yeah. They so did. That's a and thing. And they have, uh, and I know Granite Bay is a pretty good program. They lost to Granite Bay 14-2. to two. And then uh, they also, uh, they, they took a trip uh, uh, to Napa and took on Vintage. So some of these uh, upper-level teams, they are going out of the area no. to play some of these other upper-level teams. They should. One day, Bella Vista is going to be there. <laughs> well, th there was a I'm season many, many years ago, Bella Vista played 19 games or something, and they were all over creation. Uh, again, there were there were fewer teams here in Sacramento, so everyone had to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taxing and wearing to do that, but uh, but yeah, the, the honestly, there's better lacrosse in, in the in the Bay Area, and um, so if your teams like Whitney and Rockland and guys like that, uh, Davis too, you make the trip on occasion and play play some of the upper guys and see what you're like against them. Well, and that that helps you out when, once you get into the the North Coast playoffs. Exactly. You you, you see that uh, Vista del Lago last year made it all the way to the semifinals before losing to De La Salle, who eventually won the entire section. All right, we want to thank you for joining us here tonight for all the action. Uh, it was uh, it was a night uh, it was a night for Vista del Lago, both here and in Folsom, as the Eagles sweep all four games against Bella Vista tonight in both boys and girls action. So we want to thank you for joining us. Our camera operator Stephanie Degada, producer Julie Tharlson. Now speaking for David Houseworth, I'm George Tharlson from Bella Vista High School. The Broncos, well, they they fall in this one by a score of 18 to 10, but uh, not a bad performance overall considering who they were playing. Have a, have a great evening, everyone.